Hello once again, nerds and nerdettes of the Nintendo Universe and Radio here back and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own and apply special custom themes for your Nintendo 3DS. Uh, now, before I get this video started, I just want to give a shout out to Toon Neku, I believe that's how you pronounce it. They are the one who asked for this tutorial and they actually encouraged me to go look up the process myself and it's fairly easy. Uh, it's just a bit... I guess time consuming if you're not really on the creative side like me, uh, but today I will be showing you how to make your own custom 3DS themes, and without further ado, I feel like we should get into it. Um, so uh, before I start off, I know I already said this, but before I start off, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the top right corner to how to install the homebrew channel or the homebrew launcher for your 3DS. That is very crucial. Uh, to actually applying the custom themes. Uh, so go watch that video to where you guys can learn how to do it through browser hacks and once you guys actually have browser hacks installed, you guys can continue on. Uh, so first thing I'm going to leave in the description is a link to this file, uh, customtheme.rar. You're going to want to download this file and uh, this pretty much contains all the things we'll need to of course make your custom theme. Uh, so once you get that uh, downloaded, go ahead and extract it and you'll get your files looking like this. Go ahead open the custom themes folder and you'll see BGM, CHMM, and Yada Plus. Uh, you'll also see a boot.3dsx file. For those of you who have homebrew on your 3DS, you guys will remember that there is a boot.3ds file that comes with the starter pack. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and drag this boot.3dsx file and put it into your SDHC. Yes, you are going to want to replace the one that came in the starter pack. Uh, you have to do that because this version of boot.3dsx is uh, basically just the one from the starter pack, but it's specifically modified to read off custom themes. The one with the starter pack does not come with that boot. So make sure you go ahead and replace that file and now that we have that in there, go ahead and go to Yata. Uh, from Yata, you'll get all these files, but what you're really going to want to focus on is yataplus.exe. Go ahead and open that. Go ahead and just skip this. Uh, so here, now that we have Yata Plus, you're going to want to go to File, hit New, since we're just going to go ahead and make a new theme. Then you're going to want to go to 3DS, go to Themes, and then you're going to want to make a new folder and uh, I actually have an idea for a 3DS theme I want. So, oh, not a shortcut. Sorry about that. I don't want to make a folder if it will actually make me do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and make Nerdio because I'm going to make a theme based off of my channel art because I'm conceited like that. Uh, so go ahead, open that folder once you have one made in themes. It could be named whatever. It doesn't have to be specifically named after my channel. It could be whatever you want your... Uh, theme to be named. Uh, so what we're going to want to go ahead and do here is uh, right here when it says save as type body underscore lz dot bin that's what you're going to want to name the file. So go ahead and type in body underscore lz dot bin. It's crucial that it has to be named that if it's named anything else it will not read properly. So just go ahead and save it like that. Uh, all right, so once you got this, you can see you got the bottom, you got the top screen, the bottom screen, and you can go as far as editing things like uh, closed folders, open folders, a lot, and the borders of the uh, 3DS games. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're just gonna stay basic. We're just gonna go ahead, edit the top and bottom screen, and uh, if you guys want me to edit the colors, I'll go ahead and leave a text document, or not a text document, but a link that basically has a written description of the tutorial to where you could add your specific colors. But as for now, we're just going to go ahead and keep it to the top screen. So what you're going to do here is if you have an applied opener like paint.net, uh, you're going to want to hit open in your photo editor. Now if you don't have paint.net, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description to where you can download paint.net yourself. Uh, because I just feel like it's a lot easier and it's basically just a free shift Photoshop in the end. Uh, so right here where it says top screen, draw in the top screen, white section only. Uh, what this basically means is obviously this is going to be your top screen. You want this to be your top screen and that's pretty much anything in this white area will be your top screen. 
You can put stuff in the black area, but it will not be visible to your 3DS. And uh, since we are making one based off my channel, let's just go ahead and click open. And I want to go to the desktop, and then I have this. So this is what I'm going to put for my 3DS theme. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this, because as you guys can see, it's separated into two files. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Don't save. And paste the image, if it'll actually do it. Yep, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best to try to get it centered in the white. I don't want Mario too much to the left. As you guys can see, I don't have much of the top, so this way I can see what's really centered and stuff. And uh, if I can get it right there. There we go. That seems like it's a good fit. Uh, also, if you guys are into the whole creative stuff and you guys want to draw your own a theme you can go ahead and do that don't let this don't let me fool you into thinking you're just limited to photos you guys could completely draw whatever you want you guys could put as many photos as you want for your 3ds theme you can make a straight up shrek theme make a freaking shrek theme i don't care you can do that <laughs> uh, but anyways this, i just put a photo because it is the more simpler version on how you can do this um so i'm just gonna go ahead file and save and once it's saved, just go ahead and click OK. You're going to want to exit paint.net. Uh, and then you'll see that it says the image has been modified. Do you want to import the new one? Go ahead and click yes. And then it'll give you an example of what your top screen will look like. Uh, as you guys can see, I got Mario a little bit to the right. Luigi a little bit too much to the left. Not exactly centered the best way, but I figure you guys get the gist on uh, the whole editing the top screen part. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom screen. So go ahead, click open in your photo editor again, and I'm gonna go ahead and click, of course, like I said earlier before, it only matters what's in the white, not in the black. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, open the file of the JPEG. I believe this is it. Yup, it is. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, paste that on there, and that's pretty much it. I have that exactly with the proper dimensions, and uh, Let's go ahead, hit save, okay. And then exitpaint.net, it'll tell us it has been modified, click yes, and there we go. We pretty much have our top and bottom screen. If you guys wanna see what it looks like, you guys can go ahead and see that it looks, oh wow, it actually looks pretty centered. I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, so uh, once you have your images ready, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go to theme settings. Uh, so. Uh, since we're just using basic images, we're going to want to go ahead and make sure that top screen is at none and bottom screen is at none. This is the frame type. What the frame type is basically means whether you have a top screen that scrolls or a bottom screen that scrolls or does not. If you guys want uh, a top screen that scrolls, I will go ahead and leave the image dimensions in the description below so you guys can check what image size what image file size it should be. I'll also go ahead and leave the dimensions for the bottom screen. And for the top and bottom screen for none, the dimensions should be in the text version of this tutorial. So if you guys want your dimensions, go ahead and click that tutorial at the bottom below. Uh, and also when you have draw type, just make sure bottom top screen stay the same as texture. Uh, now, these flags, what these mean are basically things like your cursor. So you guys know that four square cursor that's always around the games when you're scrolling through the whole menu. You can edit these colors. You can go ahead, uh, you can do edit cursor color, enable 3D folder color, custom folders, custom folder color, uh, custom borders. If you guys don't know what the borders are, they're basically just the white rounded square around your game. So you can really customize a lot. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything but custom borders. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And the enable use of sound effect. You don't have to use this. What the sound effect is, is just basically when you open an app, uh, it'll just play a little sound. Like if you have the Zelda app, if you have the Zelda theme from my Nintendo, you'll know that whenever you open a game, it does the Zelda thing that goes da 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 da, -da like if you solve the puzzle. Uh, as for SFX, I do not know 
how you can apply the sound effects. I do not know how you can do that. But as for the background music, I do know and I will be teaching you later in this tutorial. So just go ahead and hit save and once you enter theme settings again, you can see that you have all these color options. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, edit all these color options to the ones I want and then I'll go ahead and cut back to whenever I'm finished. So yeah. Alright you guys, so here we are, I got my colors ready and as you guys know, my channel is pretty much based on the colors red and blue uh, and as for my like third favorite color I guess, I picked yellow for the arrows uh, that show on the left and right. So basically the arrows that basically say, oh if you want to go left on your touchscreen or right on your touchscreen and if you have more than like four or five games you need to scroll through your menus, that's what the arrows are for. So now that I pretty much have this all ready, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click save. Um, now the folders open and closed, this is all completely optional. Uh, basically what the gray parts represent are, uh, what's it called? Whether the folders, like, the open part of the folder, like when you open the folder, it's usually dark inside. The gray part represents the dark, so basically, like, this gray part right here, the game will be peeking out on your home screen, and when it opens, it'll play the little open animation, but you guys will hardly see the open, so... To me, this doesn't really matter, but for the folders closed, I feel like this is where you can get you can get really creative for your folders. Um, me personally, I would probably usually have like a yellow folder or something, so I would edit all this white parts yellow. So basically, if you want to do that, just go ahead, open in your photo editor, and then just color it yellow or put whatever picture you want on your folder. That's really all you got to do. Uh, sure, I didn't really modify it. <laughs> But as for editing your theme, that's pretty much it. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do now is once your theme is ready, you're gonna wanna go ahead, click save. And theme is saved. Um, if you have to click save as, no, don't even have to click save as. So uh, where it says decor, when you see the file deck underscore body underscore LZ bin, you know you've pretty much done it uh, successfully. Uh, if you guys want to see, like, I guess a photo, just click simulate. You guys know the drill. Um, so pretty much your theme is ready. But what is a special theme without some custom music, right? So once that's all saved, I'm going to go ahead and save that again just to make sure. All right. All good. Once you get your custom theme ready, we're going to want some cool music. So let's go ahead and go to... Smash custom music. This is where you can, pretty much the only place you can get your music. Uh, so, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna wait for this page to load, and you guys don't even have to worry about music, pretty much. If you guys do want, like, some copyrighted rap music or whatever, you do have to worry a bit because this is just video game music, but I really don't, I really don't feel like it matters, because in the end, I feel like game music does fit better. It does fit the best. Uh, if you guys do want your own custom uh, songs, you guys could head to the Smash section of Game Banana, and there is a tutorial there to turn MP3s into the proper file. But as for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Cave Story if they have it. Let's see, Cave Story, here we go. And then we're going to go ahead and get the theme song. Now, uh, I said this super, super late, but something crucial about the song is that they have to be a specific file size. Uh, so let's go ahead and find... Oh, we actually passed it. Let's go ahead and get the Cave Story theme right here. Cave Story. Uh, so something really specific about the song is that they have to be a specific size. That to be 3.3 megabits or under, I believe. Uh, let's see if that's the proper size. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes, megabits. So, as you guys can see, this song is actually way too big. It's 4.71. So let's go ahead and check out another one, shall we? Um, so that's pretty much the bad thing. A lot of these songs are uh, bigger than the proper file size, which is 3.3 megabits. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out this remix. Let's try and get this remix. 
All right, there we go, 2.9 megabits. This is perfect. And one thing just to add like perfection to your theme music, make sure it says song loops normally right here. Please make sure it says that so this way uh, it doesn't sound all broken or it just doesn't stop randomly. Uh, now, usually people who are used to Smash Bros modding would download uh, BRSMT, but you don't want to do that. Uh, for 3DS themes, you're going to want to go ahead and download BCSTM. So go ahead and download that. Uh, once that's done downloading, if it will download faster. <laughs> okay, once that's done downloading, let's go ahead, show in the folder. So this way you can take us there faster. You are gonna wanna go ahead, get it, and drag it to your theme. So just go ahead to your SD card, theme, and then put it in your themes folder. Once it's in there, you are gonna wanna rename the file to BGM. It's that simple. Just rename it to BGM. That is how the 3DS will read. It'll look for a file called BGM, which stands for background music and it'll read it off of that, but it does not change the song, so don't even worry about it. Uh, so, now that we pretty much have the SD card set, I'm gonna go ahead, switch to the 3DS, and we'll go ahead and get homebrew started. All right, so here we are at the 3DS. For those of you who already have browser hacks installed, but don't have the link, uh, bookmarked on your, 3D, on your 3DS's internet browser. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the QR code for the rest of this video for those of you to uh, scan to access browser hacks. But as for me, I already have browser hacks, uh, browser hacks linked bookmarked, uh, so this way I could just easily access it. So we're just gonna go ahead, go to browser hacks and launch it up. All right, once we got the homebrew launcher open, we're gonna wanna go ahead all the way down to CHMM2, or Theme Manager for 3DS. Uh, for those of you who did go through all the way with the browser hacks video, you guys will automatically have this program installed. If not, you can go to Smeelum's GitHub page and he will tell you where you can get applications for your browser hacks or your homebrew launcher for browser hacks. Uh, but if you follow the other video, you guys will be fine. Go ahead and click CHMM2. Your screen will have another strobe fest or whatever, and you will see that we have the files for your theme. Uh, it should come with the first three letters of whatever your folder was named, since mine was named after me. As you guys can see, it has N-E-R. Just go ahead and click the A button. It will install the theme, and once it's done, just go ahead, hit start, and exit CHMM2. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and hit start on the homebrew menu and reboot 3DS. So, as you guys can see, here we are in the 3DS and the custom theme is installed properly. Uh, we have the white folders with the gray on it uh, because, as you guys know, I didn't edit the folder. Uh, and we got the yellow arrows on the bottom and the borders and stuff. So everything's proper, everything, we even have the music. You guys got that nice cave story music. Everything should have came out fine if you followed every step properly. And I hope you guys enjoy making and putting on your custom themes. And go ahead and share this with your friends who have 3DSs, because I'm sure they would love to have their own custom theme. Guys, that is it for the 3DS theme tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video or it helped, please do click that like button. If you guys want to stay more updated with hacking videos or Nintendo stuff in general, please do click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, Nerdio is out.